Hello everyone, and welcome back to Majora's Mask HD. Okay, so in the last episode we got our Gilded Blade finally, so we're not going to have to worry about sword upgrades again for the rest of this playthrough. Um, in this episode we're going to be going and unlocking Romani Ranch, and another mask, and another song, and a Pona, and a bunch of stuff, so yeah. We also will lock unlock the ability to grind really easy, because we need to get that amount right there to 5,000 to unlock another hard piece. So for now, we're going to just go, let's just go 50. And you can go to the bomb shop, but it's actually cheaper if we go to um, the Goron village. Whoops. I don't even know why I went into the songs. I do remember that song at least. Excuse me. All right, let's go. Come on, Tuttle. Damn Tektites. Damn Snowball Force. Hey, thanks. this tectite here. You'd have to imagine that the Gorons don't view them as a threat at all if they just let them do their own thing. There's another one. It's not what I meant, but whatever. Oh, you're kidding. We got another Deku nut. Money. Really should grab some arrows. It's kind of a pain in the butt, you know. Grab the bumps, man. I don't want sticks, I want a frickin' arrow. Come on. Be good. Be good. That's what we want. Nice. That wasn't too bad. I thought I was going to have to run all the way back to the entrance. In we go. Hey, buddy. I'm the Goron who sells powder kegs. The rules say I can't sell to... Okay. Where's my, uh, where's my bomb keg license? Oh, can't sell to anybody who isn't a Goron. Well, oh, I just feel silly. Yep, 20 rupees. Very volatile. Okay, cool. Okay, now, Song of Sorry. Okay, we need to go to the Milk Road. We're just gonna get that off straight away. I feel like, no, 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 we don't need it. We don't need it. But see that big bomb there? Would have liked some, uh... Oh man, that little sound effect is so very Zelda. So wait a second. Um... Can we really just, like, place it? Oh, we need to be a Goron, okay.
Listen, man, you're not going to want to be around for this. <laughs> it's cool that he actually, like, runs away, because if he stood there, I would have felt a bit bad. Nice. I thought something was up. And also... Um, I probably don't need to worry about that for now, but I'll put a bottle on just in case. Alright, we finally did it. Romani Ranch. We are here. After so long. I think this is like episode 20. I can't remember. Only took us 20 episodes to get here, so what do we got to do here? Um... I think we got to talk to the person on the map that's marked purple. Hey lady! There we go. Jeez, did not want to speak to us. Oh, that mask! Oh, that's right, the town should be having its carnival soon. Oh, frickin' lovely, that's all you gotta say. Yeah, we're alright. We're good. That is a po right there! Look! Isn't that your horse? Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name, Link? Link? That's a nice name, but how about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes, and you patter about when you walk, so grasshopper it is. Romani, for, Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. They. They come at night, every year when the carnival approaches. Oh god. They come riding in a bright shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then they come to the barn. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting you as an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Sure. Great. That's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay then, I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. There are ten ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and bust them all. If you take more than two minutes, you're out. The current record is one minute. Are you ready? I mean, I guess. The problem is, I uh, need a regular bow. Oh. I didn't miss that, we would have gotten a half decent time. 
We still broke the record. You two work perfectly together. I'll teach Rom Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now, you two keep getting along. Go practice some more. The horse seems to like this song. song, a melody signifying the bond you share with the Pona. Play it and your beloved horse will come running. Stand by a Pona's side and press A to climb on her back. To get off slow and slow to a stop and press A. Okay, okay, we get it. When your arrows hit these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get to the barn, we lose. They run away at first light of the sun, so we have to keep fending them off till then. Did you get that? I did. The operation starts tonight at 2. I'll be waiting by the barn. Don't be late. You've been asked to take on a job of nighttime assistant. This was added to your notebook. Hey, do you think you can remember the time they just told you? If you're worried you might forget, I can give you a little reminder when the time comes. Okay. Well... I won't need that, but, uh, hmm. Let me just have a look at our notes. Okay, so we need... So we'll do this. Give us an hour. And then we'll do this. Okay, I'm just kind of hoping as well that they... Okay. We can't let them hit that barn right there. I'm hoping they pop up on the map because we pretty much get one shot at this and I have to reset the whole time cycle. And start again. Ten seconds. It's almost time. You take care of things outside. If you have a map, watch it carefully. Okay? Whatever happens, do not let them get to the barn. You'll come. F they'll come from behind the barn too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, you can rustle up some more from the crate near the house, or from nearby grass. All right, it's time. Here we go. Oh man, there's freaking heaps of them. Oh crap.
Oh god. These ones just respawn straight away. Yes, we did it. Nice. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. Oh yeah, final bottle. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. Boom. Okay. Head inside the barn after 6 a.m. So. That freaked me out for a second then. Hangry moon. All right. We're actually making decent progress since we uh, put this game on hiatus for a billion freaking years. That's actually a little bit surprising. No, can't remember. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh my, hello. Romani's going to take our milk to Clocktown too. You're looking after the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving at about six o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you'd like. We will be. You can. All right. Coming here to steal the moose? No, thank you. Those aliens be heckin' mega rude. All right. Uh, I feel like we have actually been here before because I feel like we led the chickens around, but not in the sense that we were defeating alien. Oh wow, that is genuinely creepy, man. Like <laughs> a much better moon model than the original game, that's for sure. So, oh. I think we're just going to skip. Um, yeah.
okay, I'm aware of times and things. There she is. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? I would. But we're not just here to ride. We're here to protect the milk. Because everyone wants some of this Moo Moo milk. That's great. Tonight, I'm kind of lonely. I welcome the company. Oh man, I like Cremia. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things... The cows have always been bothered and frazzled and finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's practicing using a bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, what do the townsfolk say about that moon? It's bigger than before, right? Sure is. In town, I have a friend. Her name is Andrew. Andrew, the day after tomorrow is her wedding. I wonder if it will fall, that thing. Yeah, it's gonna fall. What? The road? Boy, get your bow ready. Oh. Don't you worry, lady. I've got you. First milk road is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take this detour through ugly country. Are you ready, boy? I'm going to try and get us through here as fast as I can. And if any pursuers come from behind, chase them off with your arrows. They may be after my cargo of milk bottles. Do you understand? I do. Thanks. I'm relying on you. If we can get through here, I'll have a big thanks for you. Big, big. God, they're just right there straight away. These pin cushions can ride. Nice. Ha uh ha. -huh. Nice. We did it. Mr. Barton was quite happy to get his first delivery in a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't big, but accept my thanks. Oh yeah, Romani's mask. Wear it to show you're a member of the exclusive milk bar latte. With every good deed, a child takes one step closer to adulthood. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I, I now acknowledge you as being an adult. Hey, And also, hey. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Nice. You guarded the rancher's milk. Boom, boom, we smashed both those quests. Okay. Before we just stand out here and get annihilated. Let's have a quick look. Um, hmm. Alright, I know what we're gonna do. Dude, get out of the frickin' way! Fine, have it your way. Uh, no, not that one. 
Look at that kid. He looks like he's gonna frickin' pocket, uh, pickpocket me. Yeah. So we're gonna head to the milk road. Honestly surprised that Romani Ranch isn't just a place we can now go to without having to use that big powder bomb keg. Uh, we actually do have a few arrows left. Alright, sweet. I think it's this way back to Terminus Hill. One would hope. Yes, okay, cool. Okay, see that bird? Let's actually go somewhere where we're not going to immediately be annihilated by stuff. We'll turn around and come back. Man, I'm not going to lie, the controls are not great. Come on, man, it's a tree root. Go around it. <laughs> okay, this is not great. Let's go this way for a sec. And then opponent, you stop. Remembered. So that, uh, that bird constantly, uh, respawns. And it'll give you 200 rupees every single time. It's kind of like, uh, going and getting rupees off the gold skeletula thing in Ocarina of Time. But, uh, yeah. This is how we're going to build up our rupees to 500. I mean, 5,000. Sweet. All right. Well, for one episode, that was a pretty good amount we got done. So I'm going to call that an episode there. If you guys like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes. And if you're catching up with the series here, there are 17 episodes or 18 or 19 episodes before this. Go check those out. We've already done uh, Ocarina of Time HD, so check that out too. You can find those in Shade Plays along with a bunch of other games. Um, generally speaking, I try to make them look fairly like, uh, like the nicest version of the regular game without modding it to be ridiculous, so yeah. But that's that. Anyway, see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm actually enjoying it.